Hi everyone, I'm Rincy and this is Rincy Reads. Today I'm going to be doing the independent booksellers tag. Apparently in the United Kingdom, or at least in England, it is Independent Booksellers Week and it's like the celebration of, you know, their local indies. I don't live in the United Kingdom, obviously, but I do love indies and I was tagged in this tag by Jean from Bookish Thoughts. I will have a link to her video as well as the creator's video down in the description below so you can check those out. So the first question is what book is currently in your bag? And this is a really awkward way to start off this tag that's supposed to be about indies because I don't carry a physical book in my bag anymore. I carry around a Kindle. I bought a Kindle earlier this year because I've been wanting a paper white for years now and then they recently had this major sale so I was able to get the paper white which is normally like over a hundred dollars for I think I paid seventy dollars for it which I'm very happy with I think seventy dollars is like the price of their regular one I love this thing so much but I do just want to say that I almost never buy Amazon books on here this is like 99% of the time used for ARCs and for library books library ebooks so yeah the book that I'm currently reading on here is the Alexander Hamilton biography the other thing that I carry in my bag is my phone which I use to listen to audiobooks and I'm currently listening to Gabby a girl in pieces which is a young adult novel that I am really enjoying as well book number two is what's the last great book that you read and this one is very easy Homegoing by Yaya Giassi. I've already done a review on this book. I love it so much. I've been recommending it to people and I will link to that review so you can watch me rave about it. It's the second five star rating I've given this year so you guys know that I love it so much and it seems like a lot of other people love it as well. So I will link to my review so you can check that out. But that book is so good. So fantastic. Number three is what book have you gifted the most? Now I am kind of a unique reader in the sense that I don't really gift books to other people. If I'm recommending books to people they don't read quite as much as like I read. They might read like maybe one or two books a year and so when I recommend or maybe like a book every couple of months. So I don't like buying books for them because I never really know like when they're going to pick it up. Usually my friends all just come to me when they want to pick up a book and then I recommend a book to them. So the book that I've probably recommended the most is Tana French's In the Woods because I know that mysteries are something that 99% of the people who are coming to me for book recommendations will enjoy. And also just Tana French is amazing and I just recommend her to basically everyone. But yeah. I've gotten a lot of people on the Tana French train in my real life, which is very, very exciting. Which is basically the same thing as me gifting the book to them because now they're just enjoying the series. Number four is what's your favorite independent bookstore, which is really hard for me to say. I'm going to list a couple. The first one in Chicago that I talk about all the time is Open Books and I really love that bookstore a lot because they're a nonprofit bookstore and I'm very much for like nonprofit bookstores. It's basically just a used bookstore and the profits that they get go towards their literacy program. So I love that bookstore a lot because of what they do. In terms of bookstores that like match me the most, Unabridged bookstore here in Chicago has just fantastic curation. Like every book that they have on their shelves is a book that I either have read or want to read or own but haven't read yet. Like their taste and my taste match almost perfectly. Like they have a fantastic fiction section and nonfiction section and a mystery section and international books like books in translation. Their children's section is pretty decent. It's not the largest that I've ever been to but I also don't read that much young adult and I feel like all the young adult that they feature are all the ones that I like. So again that's like probably the bookstore that I've like had the closest connection to because I can always find something there that to pick up. And then if I had to pick a bookstore not located in the city of Chicago I'm going to pick Housing Works in New York City because again it's a nonprofit bookstore and that's what I'm here for. But also again they just have some really great selection and the inside of the building is really really beautiful. I highly recommend it if you're ever in New York City. I know everyone says go to the Strand and the Strand is great yeah but honestly I think the Housing Works has is something a little bit more to it too. So if you're in the area and you go to the Strand, the House Housing Works isn't too far away from it, so I highly recommend checking that one out. The next question is, what's your favorite book that's been recommended by a bookseller or a fellow booktuber? I had a hard time with this question because I basically never remember where I hear about books. Like, sometimes I can remember very specific reviews, but very rarely. So instead I'm going to talk about this time that I went and I picked up Knock'em Stiff by Donald Ray Pollock from Open Books, actually. I had read The Devil All the Time by Donald Ray Pollock and loved it. It's one of my favorite books. It's so crazy and twisted. And I read it and I talked about it here on my channel and I was super excited about it. And Open Books, again, like I said earlier, is a used bookstore. So I was kind of just wandering through the store, seeing what was there. And I found this and I got so excited because Donald Ray Pollock was one of those 
authors that I never heard of before. I'd never heard anyone talk about it before and so to find one of his books in the bookstore was very exciting for me. And then I went to check out and the bookseller started talking to me about this book and how much he enjoyed Donald Ray Pollock and we had this, you know, like 30 second conversation about it, but it's still more than I usually do with people and especially about Donald Ray Pollock who is someone that I felt like no one had really heard of before and it's also one of those authors that I still feel like people don't really talk about much. Number six is what's your favorite bookshop memory and besides the one that I just mentioned, I think my favorite memories are always when people come into town and they want or are willing to let me bring them to bookstores. Specifically there were two times once Sushila came into town and I took her to open books and then Candace came into town Town and I took her to open books among some other places and so those are always my favorite memories is like when people are visiting and then I'm able to be like hey check out these awesome places that we have and these awesome bookstores that we have. Seven is what do bookshops mean to you and what do you love about them? I think for me bookshops are just these really great places for me to just kind of like relax and wander and to explore potentially new things. Obviously like mentally I always have this TBR, books that I want to read, books that I've heard about that sound really interesting. But the thing I like about bookstores is like I kind of just like wandering and seeing what catches my eye. Very rarely do I walk into a bookstore knowing that I want a very specific book unless there's like a book that I've already read that I want to pick up. So I just kind of like wandering through bookstores, seeing what their inventory is and seeing what appeals to me and then picking that up and bringing it home. Obviously you could do that online but it's not quite the same. There's something different about browsing in real life that just feels really magical to me in a way that I don't think I can explain but other bookish people probably know what I'm talking about. The next question is what are the books that have made you? Which books have most affected or influenced you? There are a long list of books I could put for this one but I'm going to pick one specifically and that is The Namesake by Jim Bulagiri. This is a book that I picked up in college and I believe that this was like the first Indian American author that I had ever read before and it was the first book that I had ever experienced that talked about like first generation and second generation kids and I had such a strong reaction to this book that I immediately went out and bought Interpreter of Maladies and now I immediately buy every other book that she writes because she just gets that immigrant experience so well and she understands the struggles and the difficulties that come with all of that and it was basically the first time in my life that I saw that part of my life reflected in novels in any sort of way and it had such a huge impact on me and I've never related to a book more than I think that I have the, the namesake. The next book is what book do you recommend that readers gift for Father's Day? Which I don't like this question, no offense, Will, <laughs> but I don't like this question because I'm one of those people that feels like you should recommend books based on like each individual, like there's no blanket book that works for everyone. And the final question here is what book is currently at the top of your TBR pile and that is The Heavenly Table by Donald Ray Pollock. I actually started this last night but I literally read like five pages before I fell asleep. <laughs> so this is one that comes out in July and I've been like waiting to pick it up until it was like closer to the release date but I think it's time for me to read it and to see if this one lives up to all of the other Donald Ray Pollocks that I've read. Which is only two because he only has two other books out. <laughs> So yeah, that was the Independent Booksellers Week tag. If you have any follow-up questions about anything that I said here or about any of the books that I talked about, feel free to leave that down in the comment section as well. I am going to tag Nena from SCS Reads to do this tag because she is someone who I know loves going book shopping and she shops at a lot of really great New York City books stores, so I'm sure she'll have some great answers for this. But if anyone else is interested in doing this tag, I happily tag you as well. So yeah, that's all I have for now and thanks for watching.